Hi folks, let's take a closer look at the new SRT module functionality in the Sienna NDI processing engine. In this video we're going to take a look at moving video across public internet uh, between different places on the planet and we're going to show how we can transmit MPEG transport streams uh, securely and reliably from different places in the same country and even from uh, one continent to another and then from one continent to another and back again. So in this example we're going to start here in South London. Uh, what we've basically got here is a satellite TV box which is receiving a BBC News HD channel that's going out SDI into a Teradek encoder which is creating our original source MPEG transport stream as a UDP transport stream. So this is basically our original source and this is the sort of thing you might want to start with as your uh, original video that you're wanting to move around the planet. So this could be coming from a, an encoder or a camera hardware encoder, software encoder, but basically you're starting your workflow with MPEG transport streams. So the objective is to move them from one place to another using public internet, um, but retaining good quality without suffering from packet loss and uh, losing frames and image breakup and so on and we're doing that using the SRT uh, TX RX modules in the Sienna NDI transport uh, NDI processing engine. So this is a kind of an MPEG specific alternative to using Sienna's NDI cloud which is designed for this type of work but for native NDI signals. Instead the SRT modules in the NDI processing engine are specifically to move MPEG transport streams from one place to another rather than NDI streams from one place to another. And so we start with our uh, UDP MPEG transport stream and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to send it from South London to North London. So this is a journey of maybe 20 or 30 miles but it's going over the public internet. And in that travel we're going to use the SRT transmit module in South London and the SRT receive module in North London to make a reliable link for the UDP MPEG transport stream. If we sent the UDM, UDP import MPEG transport stream on its own, the chances are we would lose drop packets on the way, and when it's received as a UDP stream in North London, uh, we'd probably see some image breakup. But wrapping it with the SRT protocol means that it can travel reliably across this connection and then be unwrapped back into a UDP MPEG transport stream. And just for good measure, we'll also convert it using the processing engine uh, into an NDI stream, but that's incidental in this test. Um, once we've done that, we're going to prove that we could do the same thing across continents. So, so we're going to send the same signal through an SRT transmit module in South London all the way over to uh, Amazon Web Services in the cloud in North Virginia in the USA. And we'll check that we can receive the signal OK there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use a SRT receive transmit pair as a relay in North Virginia. This is quite useful for all kinds of workflows where you need to hop between different uh, locations, particularly where you've got uh, firewall issues or you know those kind of problems. And so this will receive the signal from South London and then it'll retransmit it back over to North London and we'll be able to look at the two signals coming into North London alongside one another. So let's get started. So as I mentioned we're starting here at 10.136. This is South London um, as we saw in the diagram here. This is the South London uh, system at the bottom here and what we've basically got is there are UDP streams there's a UDP stream coming from the uh, Teradek encoder and we can just quickly use this uh, preview here just to check what the stream looks like so we have got a signal in South London uh, this is actually a, a UDP transport stream and this module converts it to NDI and we're previewing it with the NDI uh, web link just so we can check there is picture there so that's something there which exists on 136.4 and port 5000. And here I've got two SRT transmit modules. One of them is going to North Virginia and one of them going directly to North London. So the first thing we're going to do is turn on the North London transmitter. So this is taking the uh, UDP transport stream from South London, sending it to North London, and we're going to receive that over here, which is North London. We're going to receive that with this one here. So this is now going to receive the signal from here across to here. Okay, this is just going over you know, 30 or 40 miles public internet within the UK. 
and this is outputting it again as a UDP stream here on 100 colon 5000 and as you can see here in VLC we're picking that up so this is basically the same stream that is in South London being sent over SRT uh, so SRT wrap UDP stream and it arrives in North London so that's working so the next thing we're going to do is let's send this stream to the middle section here. This is in uh, 34.237, that's Amazon Web Services in North Virginia. So we'll turn this one on. It's sending the same stream targeted at this address here, 34.237. And if we turn on the receiver here, <clears throat> we're going to be receiving this stream and re-outputting it locally within North Virginia on 110.5001. Just to check we've got that here, we've got another stream connect, so we can check whether we're getting that stream in North Virginia. It'll take a couple of seconds to get started. Let's open this one up. And there we go. So we're getting it in North Virginia. And now what we can do if we want to is we can take that stream that we're receiving and we can retransmit it again. Here we're sending it now from North Virginia to London. So we'll turn that one on. And then here in London, we will turn on the appropriate receiver. And then hopefully, that will come in on 110.5001, which is right at the top there. So here we have the, the complete round trip, um, two directions, um, direct from South London to North London, from North London to North America, and then North America back to North London. And in all cases, we're getting these perfect uh, MPEG transport streams with no corruption of picture. Everything's working nicely. And here, just to show another little feature, so we're going to take the 100 uh, stream, which is this one here, and we'll convert it to NDI locally in North London. And we should be able to pick it up on a standard NDI video monitor here. And there we go. And you can actually see the uh, NDI is slightly ahead. The reason is because these VLC monitors are uh, actually got a little bit of local caching, which we don't actually need. Um, when we're going to things like NDI, we can actually get a much uh, less latent connection. So it's a, a pretty nice short latency. If we have a quick look from the original South London, this is all the way to NDI in North London. Obviously there's a fairly low latency. Yeah, really, really good. Um, so actually some of the latency you're seeing in VLC here is because of VLC's buffering. There's actually much less latency than you can see in those monitors. So there we go, just to recap what we've done. We've started in South London with a satellite TV box watching BBC News HD. We've encoded that SDI stream into an MPEG transport stream UDP. And then we're using SRT Transmit within the Siena NDI processing engine to transmit that to North London directly, to North America. And then within the NDI processing engine North America, we're relaying that back to North London. And here we're receiving the two streams from the two different paths along with an NDI conversion of the second one. If you'd like to know more, visit siena.tv slash NDI. Thanks for watching.